The next step on the airboat build is planning the turbo hot side. This is the turbo I bought. It's a Borg Werner S475. It's got a T6 housing, an 83mm turbine, and a 1.1 AR. I'm new to turbos. This is the first one I've ever bought, but I'm pretty excited to get into it. So this turbo is pretty big and pretty heavy. Right now I'm just trying to plan on where exactly I'm going to put it. I think I'm going to put it at the front of the engine, partly for balance, and also because I do have quite a bit of space there. I plan on making mounting brackets to solidly mount it off the engine. I found these pictures from Hot Rod Magazine where they did a similar build on a 5.3 with a turbo in a similar location. I plan on running the exhaust manifolds into two and a quarter inch tubing. The two will merge into a T6 flange and then I'll have the wastegate coming off that area as well. I'm undecided if I'm going to use any of the flex tubing. I might use a bellows before the turbo. Uh, I haven't decided that part yet. Let me know what you guys think about running it without a flex. Some of the components I have already, other parts I have on order. I'm going to be using the two and a quarter inch J tubes and some basic generic bends and be taking it all together. For the wastegate, I'll be using that 50 millimeter JGS wastegate. And for combining everything, I'm going to be using uh, V band clamps. Those Jake's V bands are two and a half inch, which is a waste for me because I don't plan on using any two and a half inch tubing. Also, that's a T4 flange, which won't fit on my T6. Obviously, a lot of new parts are on the way. This is an intercooler kit I got. It's a universal kit from CX Racing. It came with a bunch of the clamps, the aluminum 3 inch tubing. It's polished. I'm going to probably paint everything. And it has the silicone couplers. The air to air intercooler it looks pretty reasonable. This is my first turbo build, so I don't have anything to compare it to, but it looks fine. So pretty soon I'm going to start putting all this together. Exactly where the intercooler and where the radiator will be, I haven't quite determined. It's going to be under the engine stand. I haven't yet decided which will be closest to the fan, the radiator, or the intercooler, but it'll be in this general orientation. I'm looking forward to welding all this together. That'll be in probably the next airboat video. Thanks for watching.